My name is Michael White. And I'm Alex White. I'm a photographer in the Houston area. And I work at the Port Terminal Railroad at the Port of Houston. We've been married five years. We have um, Catherine, a five-year-old, Charlotte, a three-year-old, and Caroline, a two-year-old. 2017 has been very eventful. We started the year off on a rough patch. Every time we were in the middle of a storm, we would pray and like immediately we felt God. And knowing that you don't do life alone brings so much peace into the house. Near the end of January, Catherine became sick. Uh, at first, we thought it was just a stomach bug, but once we got her to the doctor, he was pretty quickly he was able to determine that it was appendicitis. She had emergency surgery that afternoon, and that night she wasn't recovering well. The doctor came in and started taking a look at her and... Basically diagnosed her with a rare disease called HUS. And it's really fast, so by that point, um, usually people don't make it. You know, the moment you hear life threatening with your kid, she's not gonna make it. I just, like, my mind just, everything was foggy. You know, it's like everything in your life gets turned upside down at that point. Took her, rushed her down to ICU, and it was scary because at that point, we didn't know if she was even gonna make it downstairs. And so they started working on her, and um, as the doctors were surrounding us, we just started praying. Um, and that's when I felt God come in. Like, I feel like after that, he was in the room with us. And at that point, we even thought, like, whatever the outcome is, it's going to be OK, you know? They said that if she was even had a chance of fully recovering, that it would at least be a year or two. Um, and they said that it may be five years. It could be the rest of her life. So once we got back home, we are getting back to the gist of normal life, um, medical bills start coming in. All the bills we hadn't paid because we were at the hospital started piling up. We would stay up till one or two in the morning trying to work the other business. And we weren't making time for the children. We weren't, honestly, we weren't even making time for the house. By April, it had completely, the bottom fell out of the business. We lost everything. We lost. Um, we lost a lot of money. We lost all of our savings. Our marriage, like it, it almost like tore us apart. The financial stress started putting a distance in between my wife and I, and then and and ultimately God and I. I think Mike. Um, I don't think he felt resentment, but there was some there. Just like with how did you let this happen, God? Like don't you see? You know. And with me too, I just couldn't believe that something I had worked so hard to make something happen for our family and everything. Just we lost everything. You you have all these worries and um, stresses, and you, you try to give them over, but that distance um, just become became greater and greater. And mentally and spiritually, I was done, and so was he. In the middle of all the chaos, we were also looking for a church, you know, a children's ministry and a women's group and that was filled with God. And we, a friend of us invited us to go to Faith Bridge, and we went and instantly found everything we had been praying for and more in Faith Bridge. Just seeing how loved our kids are, just seeing how loved we are, um, and people don't know us. And they don't know our story. They don't even know that probably we're having financial issues unless you're in the prayer team, and I'm sure you've seen that card every week. It, it blew me away because I felt loved by Christ in that time. And so it started changing everything. I started attending the a women's Bible study and I started learning, you know, like the fear that your kids are not going to be there. Um, the gift that they are from God, like that I thought they were mine and I created them. All that went away and God was now in the driver's seat, I felt like, because of the truths that were being preached and that were being seen. The biggest turnaround for Alex and I and for me feeling plugged back in was honestly opening up with Alex and talking to her and telling her how I was feeling instead of hiding you know, my feelings about how things have been going. I mean, my struggle with my faith is really what put me at a distance with her. Opening up to her was kind of like the back channel to come back up. Like, I feel like I'm with him again and the feeling of like, that we had in the, the ICU of him and I like freaking out and then we prayed and God was there, all came back. And so I feel like just knowing like there's 
like hoping waiting and hoping like the peace that you find afterwards and the answered prayers that were beyond anything you could experience. October of this year, we went back to the doctor and um, they told us Catherine was perfect, like that she no longer needed any, you know, we didn't need to monitor her every day. She didn't need the medicine. Um, and so we know it's all through God that that happens. He's our provider, like he gives us peace, like he carries us through. He's our dad and he's got our back, like we're so covered, it's gonna be okay.